Yo, so Deion Sanders recently did an interview with uh, Rich Eisen, and apparently single mothers are mad about what he had to say in this interview as far as what his recruiting process is and what type of kids he'd be looking for. I'm going to play what he had to say. Ride him. What do you think of Hurts and what he's become? Love it. Uh, people doubted that young man. They've been doubting him all his life. The way it ended in uh, Alabama uh, wasn't kind, mm -hmm. but that propelled him to Oklahoma, and he did his thing, you know? Yeah. And the kid just, he's a winner. You can say what you want about him. At the end of the day, he wins, and he comes up. Can you tell who that is just by talking to him now that you're walking in the living rooms and you're seeing more and more well, and more? Well, we have different you. attributes. Smart, tough, fast, disciplined with character. Yep. We're looking at now. Now, quarterbacks are different. Yeah. We want mother, father, you know, dual parent. Mm -hmm. We want that kid to be 3, 5, and up because he got to be smart. Dual parent. This is where it got dicey for some of the single mothers that was watching this video. They don't think they like that too much. Mm -hmm. um, not bad decisions off the field uh, at all mm -hmm. because he has to be a leader of men. It's so many different attributes and what we look for when we see a quarterback. And you would love a coach's son. Somewhere that the coach has coached him. And I'm not going down my road. I see you smiling. I, well, know I, you. I know, I, I know, who, you're, I know about, who your quarterback is right now. He's talking about my son. Like, <laughs> I didn't just build a template for my son. But that's what really we look for in quarterbacks. Different positions are different. Like, like, like O-Lyman, I look for dual parent homes. Right. A strong father that they adhered uh, to. Right. Uh, Again, so offensive line, he wants them also to be from a, a dual parent home mother and father they can adhere better they can listen they can take direction a little better this is what he's learned as a coach over the years of coaching players and this that and other but once again single mothers are not going to agree to this um smart kid three at least three three and above you're also describing hurts yeah it's tough well. i mean uh physical i mean offensive line but defense line is totally opposite what do you mean single mama <laughs> wow. Trying to get it. Uh, he's on free lunch. I mean, like, uh, uh, I mean, I'm talking about just trying to make it. He's trying to rescue mama. Like, mama barely made the flight. Trying to get out the mud. And I want him to just go get it. I, I, it's a whole different yeah. attributes that you look for in different positions. And we have that stuff just chronicle. We know what we want and we go get it. Deion Sanders here on the Rich Eisen Show. Or you don't have to establish me. I, I think. I think. They no, no, no. <laughs> got the but really I love the way you reestablish. I always. I, I, I love it. Deion said you you ain't had to reintroduce me there, but Rich Eisen knew he did. Rich Eisen knew. Hey, these are not the words of me. This is Deion Sanders. I want to make sure I reiterate to the crowd that he is speaking. And I want his name to shine in what he's about to say because I know the single mother's about to come for him and every day, and I don't want them coming for my neck as well. But Rich Eisen knew that he caught lightning in a bottle with what Deion Sanders had just said. Even though Deion Sanders had said this a few times before, sometimes it takes a certain platform to jump into the to the masses. And Rich Eisen knew what he was doing when he reintroduced uh, Deion Sanders to the platform, even though Deion Sanders wasn't hiding, he, he, he ain't running. He ain't running. This is this is what he do. This is how he recruit. And if you look back at the last three years that he spent at Jackson State, it worked. It worked. It worked. You understand what I'm saying? The man know what he's talking about. He's in the profession of football. He does this for a living. He's done it all his life. He is a defensive player who was from a single mother. So he know what that dog feels like. To go and uh, and be that dog that got to get mama up out the hood. That got to, I got to go and get it. You know what I'm saying? He understands the, the, the mindset of what he's talking about. And so every coach got a different pathology, a different uh, angle at how they want to recruit and how they do this and how they do that. And every coach is not successful. So far, Dion is a brand new coach to the game, and he's been very successful at Jackson State, what he did there, so much that, that people hated on him vigorously that he left. And so I'm not going to stop his uh, process now that he's made it to Colorado or now that people are peering into what his process is. Because sometimes you, you you know the magic's there, but you don't know how the magic's made. And then when you find out how the magic's made, you're, you're disappointed, right? It's like a hot dog. 
Like you, you, you remember Snoop when when he when he when he was like, man, what they making? Cause he was watching the video. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Cause what they making? He was watching the video for like three minutes. I don't know what this is. Cause and he was like, oh man, that looked terrible. This, that, another. And then out comes out of the machine, hot dogs. He was like, oh, cause if that's hot dog, I don't never want a hot dog. I don't never want no another hot dog in my life. Right? Disappointment. But Snoop was, Snoop was like 50 years old. He's been eating hot dogs all his life and loving them all his life. You understand what I'm saying? That's what this is. You've been eating hot dogs this long. You ain't know how they was made. But you were enjoying the product of a finished hot dog. And you thought it was the greatest thing since sliced bread. Matter of fact, you took the sliced bread and you put it on that hot dog with the crunch and the... You know what I'm saying? You know the skin, the skin, the skin crunch on the hot dog. You loved it, huh? Until you saw how it was made. This is what it is right here. Everybody loves the hot dog until you see how it's made. Everybody loves these winning teams and the things until you see how it's made. Chad Ochocinco, one of the greatest wide receivers in NFL history, had a certain air about him until he went over to the Patriots and found out how that hot dog was made, right? It's winning. It's everything over there, Patriots, Tom Brady, Bill Belichick, uh, you know, Robert Kraft. It's all wins. It's all wins. It's championships, Super Bowls, this, that, and other. You want to go there. And then you go there, and as Chad Ochocinco, the, one of the greatest pers NFL personas ever, Sombrero, he signed in this, down and that. He 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 made a na a brand for himself. He went over there and found out. Belichick was like, "Hey, you are not Ocho Cinco here, okay? We are a brand because we do this like an army. It, every everything is done meticulously and without said person in mind. It's next man up." So if you don't produce how we said you should produce, you gone. And it's a winning formula. So it humbled Ocho Cinco. He, 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 I ain't gonna say he wasn't ready, but it, you know his persona didn't really fit into what they did. He wanted to fit, but it didn't really fit into what they did. And then you know he had an okay season with them and this kind of. But what I'm saying is that. When you find out how the hot dog is made, you may be surprised at it. And you, you may think like, oh, man, I don't know if it's to me, if, if, if this is for me. Because Chad Ochocinco, being a player who is, you know, is about self and about getting his yards and this, that, and another, and, and, and you know, signing some bread rolls and making a show about him, now you get into a fold of a team that is not about that. And... This is how the hot dog is made. You love the hot dog, but you don't love how the process of making the hot dog, right? So this is what I'm saying. It's a lot of single mothers that don't like what Deion Sanders is saying because he put it in the in the fashion of, oh, the quarterback, I need to be from a two-parent home and an offensive lineman, two-parent home and this, that, and that. And then the defense, I want, from, I want them to be some dogs. I want them to be single-parent, this, that, and another. He's just telling you what he looked for and what he's done to make that great recipe that you all know so well, to make that great hot dog that you know so well. But when you find out, when you look behind the curtain and you find out how he's making it, you don't like it. Single mothers don't like it. And I'm and I'm taking this um at the word of my man O'Shea Duke Jackson. Cause I couldn't find a lot of comments to saying they don't like. Maybe single mothers is not as mad as O'Shea is making them out to be. I don't know. But it seems that they don't like this, and rightfully so, because you could be like, hey, I mean, look at look at LeBron James. He's a product of a single mother. He's the best player in the NBA right now. He's been for the past about 20 years. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it's not to say that these players can't succeed and do what they're going to do. But I'm just saying coaches look for certain things in players. And if that's their prerogative, that's what they do. They're looking for certain things. And they're going to find those certain markers to make sure that their players are going to succeed. And 
listen, if y'all want to keep running this single mother narrative that it doesn't matter that somebody's from a single mother home and this, that, and that keep running that narrative if you want to. But the stats say when you look behind that curtain and find out how the real hot dogs are made, the, the, the stats say that children are better when produced from a dual parent household, mother and father. And if you look around the world, as my man O'Shea Duke, Duke Jackson said, you're going to find that the races that produce the best and have the most wealth and all of this come from dual parent households. You're not going to get around that. So single mothers, if you're mad, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Go go take a bath, put some Epsom salt in that water, soak in it, and let it come up out your, out your blood. Because just because you want it not to be don't mean it ain't going to be. But this your boy P. Camp. Tell me what you think, what you don't think. I think that single mothers should get over it. And uh, <laughs> if you plan on seeing your son or Deion Sanders, you better tell him. You better tell him to get on defense. That's all I can take. You know what I'm saying? If you're a single mother, you're telling your son to go to Deion Sanders. You better put him on defense. But even if you do, he's still in good hands because Deion Sanders is one of the greatest players in NF history, in NFL history up there. I'm, I'm talking about top five. Like, uh, like however you want to argue it, this your boy P. Camp. Man, tell me whatever you think, whatever you don't think. Get at your boy.